to a sneak peek of some hints of what the upcoming Titan could be, the prediction of the fly. Okay, so this is the sun goddess of Urania, also sometimes identified as Uraniet or as Wara. Sema is the chief goddess, wife of the weather god Terahana. In Haiti, Haiti mythology, she's protected. The Haiti king was called the queen of the lands, or cult century was sacrificed to the city of Arenia. Arenia Hatian Warson, Haiti sun goddess, the principal deity and patron of Haiti Empire and Manarchy, her consort, the weather god Terra, was second to Arenia in importance and indicated that she probably ordinated in materializing times. Orantani prosecute seems to have been a mother goddess of Antelope's civil of earth and fertility. Aranati attributes were righteous judgment, mercy, will, and authority. The powerful Hedi queen Puma adopted Arian as her protector. The queen seal showed her the goddess of embrace. When Hedidi fell in about 11800 BC, the Luyans moved eastward and southward and Cappuccino, Sicilian, and North Assyria. Here they formed a number of small successor kingdoms shortly afterwards. The Farragons crossed the Bosphorus from Thrance and accompanied the central of Anil Plateau. Cutting out the extreme southwest of Rimini of Luviani people who became known as the Lydicanes and maintained their reverence for the Luan gods Terhan, Runan, Arma and Santa in classical times. So hopefully this name is pretty, hopefully, because she's the sun goddess, sun god, so. The next dragon slayer is a legendary deity of Luyan and Hedidi mythology. It will be a fire berserker titan. Looking forward to more information in the upcoming weeks. Now, this was a hint in one of the blogs that came out on October 23rd, Friday. So the Dawn Titans has provided this information themselves, um, and I have just researched and narrowed it down. Now there's, of course, sometimes they, they uh, put her name a little bit differently, which is the Sun Goddess Arania. So yeah, A-R-I-N-N-I-T-I -I is going to be her name. And she kind of looks... This is the cool picture I found of her, but most of the, most of the pictures you'll find in uh, history is of statues of her, which is around Turkey area. So she has a sun disc on her head a lot. And she's well known for that. Um, yeah, because she's the goddess of sun. That's why you see all that stuff above. So just a sneak peek of it's going to be a berserker titan. It's going to be fire, and I'm thinking Grenadiers. I think it's going to be a Grenadier Titan. It's going to be a Dragon Slayer, obviously. You know, it's going to be Dragon Slayer. And uh, Arantina. Arantina, I think, will be her name. I think it's going to be a female one. Uh, there's also, in this mythology, of these places... Of these religions, there's two different. This is combined to have two different religion. Um, so there's actually multiple gods and goddesses. Uh, the other one is the weather god, which I don't think uh, Terhut. I don't think it will be him or Terra. So there's Tashbash, Haba, the cult. I mean, there's tons of them. You know, there's tons of them. Around that are affiliated with these two uh, religions. So they're just having a sneak peek of what is to come. And I'm thinking November, sometime in November, probably towards the end of November, is going to be this new Titan. Uh, um, thank you for watching. Please subscribe, share with your friends.